Hi everyone, in this video we're going to look at textiles. We're going to make all these good looking ones. They're useful because we can be consistent, okay, and we can kind of go in here and make quick updates. And really polish that design. <laughs> Alright, let's get into it. Alright, to create a style, the exact same process as doing colors, okay, except the fonts. So let's say that you don't have to have this fancy kind of like, well, fancy, you don't have to have them listed out this way. You could just use this font here. I could say, you, my friend, are going to be my heading style uh, one. Okay, so I'm going to go over to text. And remember those four little dots from when we're doing color? It's the same here, okay, except this style is going to inform our font or our text. Okay, we're going to hit this little plus button like before. And we're going to call it, you can call it heading one or I'm just going to call, yeah, H1, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call mine heading one. Great. So I can go over here and say, actually, I need you to be now heading. It's the same place, but down the bottom here, like we had colors, these are there. Look at that. It's not what I want. Okay. So um, I've applied to this one. This one's the same thing. What you'll notice is that the font will come, but the color won't. So let's type something out. So I'm going to go you type and I'm going to say uh, this thing. Okay, and let's say it is the wrong font. And I'm going to break it. I'm going to say Roboto and it is small 16 and it is a color of I'm going to break that and say you are just the color of bright yellow or whatever that color is. Okay, so you're working away and you're like, oh, okay, I need him to be my style. Awesome, I get to use my sweet style. So I'm going to select the text. Where are my styles? Text, there it is. I'm going to say you, my friend, are down here. Notice that the text currently is lime. It's a yellowy, greeny color. Okay, you notice it got the right size. Okay, got the right font. It's italicized. All the letter spacing and kerning and letting are all going to be part of the uh, style. But you see the color wasn't. Okay, so that's something that doesn't come along with the font style. One thing I kind of quickly skipped over there is let's say that I do want to change this. Okay. What you'll notice is when it's a style, this kind of text box here gets really small and you're like, I can do left align, right align. I can play around with some little parts of it, but I can't do a lot. Okay. I want to change this. Why is it stuck? Um, you can break text that's had a style applied to it by clicking the little uh, breaky link icon thing there. Okay. And all of this peers back on. So before, after. Okay, and it's detached from that style, and I can go ahead and do anything I like to it. All right, so what I'm going to do, and I'll get you to do as well, is work through. Okay, I'm going to say that this one here is my text. It's going to be a style. Okay, and I'm going to use heading zero. And just keep adding it to them. Now, if I double click, oh, double click, click in the background, can you see there's some more of my styles? And later on, I'm going to show you how to share all these styles with other members of your team, which makes them even more exciting. Okay, now work your way through. Actually, before we go through, one of the big perks for styles that I kind of just haven't told you about is the updating. So this one here is, these two are exactly the same except for the different colors. So if I apply the style of hitting one to them, nothing changes. Cool. So let's... Let's say that the client comes back and says, actually, Dan, uh, you know, we're not feeling the crimson text. Okay, I've got a font for you. I'm going to send it through. Can you use that? And you're like, no problem. I can update it. Can't wait. Okay, so with it selected, I'm going to go into here and, and I'm actually going to go into, I'm not going to break the link here. What I want to do is have nothing selected. Go over here. Okay, and say heading one needs to be updated. And remember, I've applied it there and there. So if I update this one, they should all update. Okay, and I can go into here and say, cool, check the email, pass out from shock, and it's brush script. Woohoo! Okay, and that beautiful design you've been working on has now been brush script. You might like brush script. I like to rag on it, but hey, it's fine. <laughs> it's not fine. I hate it so bad. But anyway, so that's how to update your text style. And you can see if it's been used across a lot of different pages, okay, different frames, it's all going to update really handy. Undo, undo, undo. There we go. All right, so keep working your way through, okay, uh, and make a style for each of them. And I'm going to do this in fast forward mode. What I should really mention is I've picked two styles. I shouldn't. I should keep this class simple and just go like, <laughs> ignore that one. We're never going to use it. But you might have like a marketing um, heading and then an information heading, okay? Or there might be versions of your website that is back end, front end. So you're going to have two kinds of heading. How do you split them up? It's up to you. 
Okay, I'm going to have this as Alt H1, okay, or Heading 1, just so I know the difference between the two. And in my kind of like specifications or my design spec or my design system, I can explain to other designers when to use the italics, when to use this. Maybe this is a colloquial kind of for quotes or kind of maybe jargon or kind of casual marketing messages, whereas this is really for information, headings for menus and things. I could explain that there, which one to use and where. So I'm going to work my way through. I'll see you in a sec. Okay, I'm back. I've added them all. Um, a couple, two things I want to remind you. One is if you, like, if I go into here and I'm like, okay, I want you to be one of the styles, you'll notice that in my styles, they're not in sort of alphabetical order. They're in the order that I made them. So there's this guy. What are you doing there? Why is one above zero? Okay, we kind of did this before. Have nothing selected and go, all right, zero is above one and alt one, hitting one is, oh, I've got two hitting ones. One of them's, let's edit this one. That guy is number zero. I had one other thing. Can't remember what it is. You wait there. Nope. I've sat here for five minutes. I can't figure it out. So let's just move on to the next video. Kind of been important. All right. That is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, consider giving it a thumbs up, likey thing, and also consider subscribing to the channel. I've got lots more Figma tutorials here. Also, if you do want to go further with Figma, I've got a full course called Figma Essentials. Uh, check out the card up here or link in the description. All right, bye for now.